Hello all, good evening and welcome to Pathway Infotech. So today I would like to show you how the fields are going to control at the time of creation of customer master data. So in ECS system, so we were using the transaction codes FD01 or XD01 transaction codes. So now first let us have a look at the trans the field status controls in ECC system because the same transaction codes XD01 or FD01, no more in S4 HANA. So we must have to use the transaction code is BP in order to create the, your customers and vendors. So the same logic will be applicable for vendors also. Okay, so first let us have a look at the ECC system. Then after that, we'll see that how the controls which are being used in S4 HANA system. Okay, so now first let us see. So this is the ECC system where you can see. So the controls in ECC system, financial accounting, financial accounts receivable and accounts payable, customer accounts, master data, preparation. So define account groups. So here let us see the customer group for 002. See the general data. Let's have a look at what are the fields control which are now, there are four types of fields control, as we already aware. So, suppress is nothing but a, so that the screen will not be visible. The options will not be appear over there. So, required entry, so without entering this uh, required entry field, you cannot able to move forward. Then optional entry, the field will be enabled here, but either you can enter or if you do not enter also, system will allow you to move forward. So display means just the field will be display here. So for this account group in general data section, so there are fields. So now name one and as well as the search term, postal code, city, and as well as a transportation zone. These are the required fields. Okay, so let us create the customer with this account group, FD01. So now goods received, the customer is the let us see whether it is a correct one or not. Yeah, goods received customer only. Okay, let us create the new customer. So now you can see here, the name one is a required field and as well as a search term, postal code, country, transportation zone. These are the fields which are required at this moment. Okay, so now let us let us do one thing. The transportation zone, let's make it as a optional entry. General data address now let's make this as a transportation zone whereas it is a required field let's make this as the optional entry save this one come back okay so now i just saved this one so let me come from the beginning now you can see here the transportation zone is here is a required entry let me try to enter now now you can see here the transportation zone option itself which is not appearing here okay so now this is where how we can control the customers. Okay, name one, let's say the so city, country, India. Let's go to the company for data. So now you can see the reconciliation account is a mandatory here. From where this reconciliation account is controls are happening. Let's go to company code data, account management. You can see here the reconciliation account is a mandatory field. So now let's enter the account reconciliation account, save it. So now customer has been created, 100, 182 has been created successfully. So this is what we know how the fields control in S4 HANA, no, sorry, ECC system. Now let us have a look at the S4 HANA system. Okay. So now let us see this one. Let me log in from the beginning. Now Go to here. Okay, so in in S4 HANA system, as we everybody aware, no more transaction code, 
okay no more uh, the transaction code xt01 uh, or fd01 transaction code we must have to use the bp okay so let us have let us see the how the controls screen controls which are happening in s4 hana so go to the cross application components let's come to the sap business partner business partner basic settings now field field groupings so now configure field attributes for business partner role okay so now let us go for the role okay how we can control the business partner per role okay first let us see the flcu001 right okay so now this is the fi customer where i want to create the there are certain fields to be controlled let me select here here you can see here the fields whatever the fields which you can see here okay so now let us see the so there are few fields which you can see here city country let us see the transportation zone if it is available reason is a mandatory here so now let us have a look at the transportation zone here okay so the transportation zone at this moment it is a not specified here here also the same you can see so hide required entry optional entry display okay at this moment the transportation zone the field is a not specified okay so now first let me create the customer bp okay i'm just creating the new customer here let me select is an internal number right Samsung. Okay, let me create here. Research term. Samsung here. So now, first, let me check here. It's error free. Okay, I can create a customer here. Now you can see 900, then 1049 has been created. This is a custom BP. Sorry, this is the BP has been created successfully. Okay, let me do the change. Let me select the role FLCU, FLCU 00, where the FI customer, the role which we are referring here. Okay. So the role which we are referring, this is the role. Now, let us, let's come down here. You can see the moment when I select the role, customer role, these are the country and the reason is a mandatory. Along with that, the language also mandatory. First, let us have a look at the fields here. So now let's come down. See now city is a mandatory, country is a mandatory. So now the city field here, this is the this is the this is where we can see the moment when we enter here. Let me go up here. Let me enter. So now postal code. Okay, let me enter the postal code. Let's see what system will say. You can see here the moment when I enter the country, let me give country reason, reason also mandatory language, language. Okay, I just have given these fields right. Okay, so now at this moment, the transportation zone, the field which is not a mandatory field. Okay, even I don't see that one. Okay, country city right which i have to enter city also but here the city which is not appearing okay city let me enter this one let me try to check this one first of all if there are any errors okay it's error free okay so now let's make the field the transportation zone is a required entry reason right so the transportation zone page up here so now transportation zone here let me make this as a required entry the transportation zone let me save this one okay so now let's come back here transportation reason 
transportation jar i made it as a required field okay so now let's let us see now okay let's come down now you can see here the transportation zone the field which i have entered it is it's made it as a mandatory field okay so now let me select the transportation zone whatever i want i can select it here now let me save this one you can see here changes has been saved successfully okay so now whatever you want you can just come back here and do the changes according to your requirement this is where the field status group how you can control in s4 hana system okay thank you friends thanks for watching the video